Ladies and gentlemen, the great Jessica Kirsten is with us. Turn me down. I'm a little hot in these headphones. This is a little loud. Thank you. Thank you. It's Easter Sunday. This will be released in, in a week or two because I'll be in Europe. And you were trying to get here. Did the driver who told you that there was a trans parade on Fifth Avenue, did he just think the Easter parade was the trans parade? Because the Easter parade, everyone wears bonnets and looks crazy. Right. I think he just thought that was the trans parade. I think But that, maybe there were two parades. Well, he also said it's some kind of Indian holiday too. I think he's on acid. <laughs> he, he honestly there was no <laughs> there was no Uber driver. Yeah, right. I'm joking. <laughs> no, if I oh my saw God. people with those crazy hats, I would go, Oh, it's a trans parade. That's oh my God. Is that the Easter parade? Mm -hmm. This is the Easter parade. That person needs to be killed. Yeah. Why is that person <laughs> wearing that hat? Is that a hat? Yeah, they all have funny hats and Easter bonnets. But that's dumb. Why? What is that? Well, this is the whole thing. It's Easter. They all wear bonnets. But that's not a bonnet. That's a fucking tree. Well, everybody's getting creative. You that's know, not creative. I agree that's with mentally you. ill. No, I mean, it, it, I'm mentally ill, this, but that's like you need to what, be in a home. This that, is what he thought the trans parade was, I think. I think so, too. I, I think th he saw this and he was like, this has to be the <laughs> trans parade. It, it does not look like an Easter parade. <laughs> it looks more like a trans parade than an Easter parade. But everyone in the uh, yeah, but everyone in the Easter parade was wearing ch like chaps and heels, so that I don't know, it might have been a little confusing. <laughs> it might have been confusing. I just because I guess they they've made Trans Visibility Day Easter. I don't really understand. When did that happen? I don't know. It happened recently. Biden did it recently and people were Oh, it was angry. Biden's doing? Oh, was it? Was it? Oh, it's it's a it's an annual event occurring every March thirty first since two thousand nine. Oh, it just happened. And to by be the way, on is Easter is Easter the same day every year? No. Okay, so it's an invented thing that people are mad about. It just so happened that oh, this it, year, right? You had the Trans Day visibility and Easter at the same time. But then, why are people so upset about it? Because it's people not they want to be. Well, you know who's the most upset yeah. about it is Caitlyn Jenner, who's fucking <laughs> transgender. You know what? Get your dick put back on and make a bigger statement. Yeah. Does it, she have a dick? I think it's gone. Why? Well, She I, seems pretty angry. I think she has a dick. I've heard that it was taken. By who? Like a, a thief? Did, a someone, a did thief someone mug her and stole drop it? her Well, dick there's off? a lot of home invasions in L.A. right now. <laughs> Did a squatter take her dick? There's a lot of it, it, there's a lot of crime happening. So I think somebody did, went into her Malibu house took and took her grabbed dick, it. her fucking trophies, and a slipper. Yeah, what did they take? Like a thief in the night. Her genitals were not removed, but rather <laughs> rearranged. What? Into a form consistent with being a woman. They were put into a cross. Well, they she's make so <laughs> religious. They took her dick and her balls and made them into a cross. <laughs> And this, and today she Do you has think an she Easter had a bonnet. Republican trans, like a doctor, like a Republican trans. I hope she yeah. went to like she had a Nazi put them on. Yeah, I hope she went to like a guy who was like you know like angrily doing it. Oh yeah, like fucking like, like I, I put I put yeah. your dick into cross. <laughs> Get on the train. I hate it yeah. too, but we need to do it quickly and quietly. Yeah, I, I hate myself also, just but let do me it just turn it off quietly. Yeah. There's things I like about her. Caitlin came to my Christmas party in L.A. Really? And I, yes, and she was lovely. She was fun. She ta showed everyone her plane. Her uh, plane? She flies a little plane around Malibu. What is? She's a real life superhero, Jessica. What is the She's plane? She's the hero we as. need. What's the thing? Look, there she is, right there. Can you imagine if you're How on a runway? How does she fit in the plane? Does it have a top? Like, <laughs> there's no top on it. <laughs> Isn't she like seven two? She's huge. Yeah. She's very robust. Yeah. She's a robust woman. Wow. And she is... What's uh, her girlfriend look like? I'm sorry. I just have issues with her is because she's like homophobic. No, of course. I get it. She was against gay marriage. But by the way, here's the thing. <laughs> she said, I am against gay marriage because I'm an old-fashioned girl. It's the funniest thing that's ever been said. Old-fashioned girl it's is amazing to me. It's amazing. I just can't not like her because... I understand to that. To say that, to say... <laughs> I get it. I get it. It's nuts. All seven feet tall of you... <laughs> 
with these big size 15 Christian Laboutons on that are like specially made. Her hands made. look like the ones in the baseball team, you know, yes. the, when you could go in the baseball. No, it's <laughs> crazy. The and then she goes, I'm an old fashioned girl. Look at her right there. Get that up. She's fueling up her plane. Can you please get up the photo of her fueling her She's plane? She's the size of a plane, <laughs> just standing, not going vertical. I mean, is this not a superhero? She's fueling up her plane and she just flies it around Malibu. How? Looking for gay marriages to fly over and scare and bomb. everybody. And bomb, bomb gay marriages. <laughs> bomb gay <laughs> But it's a very, what a wild life. Can I see a, can I see a picture of her beard? Her wife? Or yeah. the actual? She's not married. She's against it. No, she has, uh, her partner is a lovely woman who also came to the Christmas party. Her, oh, of course. Her that's partner her partner. Her partner is a trans I'm- MAGA influencer. Her partner's trans? Trans MAGA influencer. This is the, fu- I'm sorry. Merry Christmas I- and Happy New Year. Wait, her partner was a man and is now a woman? That is correct. I- I'm, I'm, I- this I is fascinating I believe that to be the to case. Me. I mean, she's, she's beautiful. She's incredibly attractive. Look at her face right now, Ka- Caitlin. Is she shitting? Look at her face. Yeah. In the- well, she's very proud. Maybe that's part of their whole kink that she. Beverly, shits I love in that the picture. back of the the step and repeat. It says Beverly Hills IV therapy. This is incredible. And then it says Face Forward International. Well, her face is forward. I mean, she's shitting in that picture. Yeah. <laughs> she's an interesting woman. She's definitely not traditional. Uh, traditional. <laughs> so what does she say? Do you think they can scissor? we get up the tweet about they have to scissor? They shear. That's a hot number she's got there, that yeah. woman. Yeah, I mean, I, I the the woman she's with is stunning. She's very pretty. She, is she pregnant in that? No. Okay. She's against that. She right. She's against all of it. She's against everything know, trans so and gay. I know. It's very interesting. <laughs> it's like me, like... It's it's like you being well. I mean, we're both homophobic. We we. I mean, I'm internally homophobic. We're, we're I'm not relatively inter- homophobic. I'm not homophobic against my. I'm uh, homophobic people. against people that are under th- like thirty. Every gay person that's been born at a like I. <laughs> if you're like sixteen, I'm homophobic because like you're just a lot. The younger gay people are a lot, and I love them because you know. You have to love everyone, but they're a lot. The younger people are a lot. I'm not homophobic against other people. I'm homophobic against myself um, because I feel like I'm a sinner. But I am a home. I'm not homophobic. I hate when people tell me I need to call myself queer because I hate that well, word. This is why the young I people are right. a little annoying. I don't care if you call yourself yeah, queer, but you when, can call yourself when whatever girls are you like, want. you need to call yourself queer. I'm like, you've touched a girl's shoulder. Okay, right. right. You are not. I fucking marched. I I fist. I right. have. I've had been. Married, have children. Like, don't right. tell me I'm a, like one of the first people who, yes. you know, I'm old school. Like, That's I true. first of all, I've never marched. I can barely get out of bed. I was just about I, to I, say, I, where did you march? Nowhere. I've never. Let me know what for any- <laughs> what thing you marched at. I will lie and say that I marched as well. I'm like, where did we at the Garden City I, Hotel brunch? <laughs> I I marched as well. I marched right from the Maitre D to the table, and then to right complain. Back. I'm a Jew. And I've right, only yeah. marched to the Maitre D and said I don't like my chicken salad. Well, by the way, it's like, and this is why I didn't last in Austin, Texas. You need Jews to make things good because they have to complain. You're right. Wasps. Don't complain. I know. They don't even like to look the waiter in the eye. You're right. The wasps don't even like to acknowledge that they're there in in an establishment with people lower than them. Jews will complain. You need that. Elderly people complain. <laughs> Elder, every elderly person, if they can speak, every elderly person complains. That's right. All they of do. them. My, I have a joke. My, I had dinner with my mother and yeah. she said, I don't like this chicken salad. I'm like, it didn't even come yet. Right. It's in the kitchen and you're already <laughs> complaining. They love it. They're, it's it's constant complaining. It's all they do. Yeah. Because that's what's left. But that's kind of like Caitlyn's, what, 70? Caitlyn's 74. 74? Jessica, she's an elderly person. Look at her face. Wait. <laughs> 74. I mean, she really, honestly. She's 74, I, Jessica. I have no, I, I, obviously, I have no issue with the trans. I think the trans women are hot. Like a lot sure, of them are fucking of hot. But- I the fact that she is homophobic in so many ways and well, against yes, gay marriage very and funny. Again, is insane. But it's it's interesting because not all gay people and trans people will get along. And I guess Caitlyn Jenner, she's also 74. Right. I so mean, she's a here's the other thing. She's old. Right. 
She's like an old person. Well, so, I know, but she's Hollywood. Like, she's been around. Yes. She, so it's. I think she does a lot to be in the spotlight. And she do does. Do you think she really believes everything she's saying? Come on, seriously. I don't know. Here, there she goes. I'll say it retarded. Which that is, is wrong. the funniest thing. <laughs> what? Oh. But this is a fun, you know, I think she's fun. I know. I don't know what's going on. I know you think it's fun. I get it. There are, but there are so many. But she's not the president. There, I get it. She doesn't I, have any power. But there, I, she just flies I know, a plane but every there's day. There's a lot of homophobic and uh, yes. anti-trans people who sure. are getting off on this. They, well, they for love sure. it. They but, love but it. But are they getting off on her? They're they're thinking it's amazing that, that a trans she's out person there being is, trans. is being right. anti-trans and anti-gay. I and, think it's kind of like a circus. Well, so I look at it as like a she's. It's part of the circus. It's, but it's funny to me if you're homophobic and anti-trans and that is your leader, that is the funniest thing to me in the world. That your leader is a seven foot tall Caitlyn Jenner is well, hilarious. Well, But there's Ellen with her. Well, Can we get that up? Can we play that or is that going to get copyrighted? Have you heard anything about Ellen? I mean. Yeah, Ellen's not great, huh? No. Ellen is an angry vagina. Why is she so mad? Well, she doesn't have enough money. <laughs> She's like a billionaire. Ellen, yeah. I, I've heard yeah. so many things about Ellen. I've never met her. Right. Um, but I've heard that she is just not a nice person. I mean, I've heard that from personal people who've worked for her, not just right. read it. And I, I know people who have worked in major positions for her on her television show. I know people that have worked for her as well. I know a writer that worked for her. Very good friends who have, you know, worked in major positions. She's tough. She's very tough. Um, And they've all said the same things. I also never liked the fact that she didn't have comics on her show, ever. She had, like, Amy Schumer, I think. She did not have a lot of comedians. And as a female comic, I or as a comic, period, forget about female, male, um... I would always have comics on. I would always support comics. She doesn't so. seem to like comics. She doesn't like, I don't think she, lo- first of all, she and she only likes clean comedy, doesn't she? Is she one right. of those? So does Bill Cosby, who rapes people. But Right. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't, like the yeah. Holocaust never happened. You know, yeah, I, I don't, I I mean, don't, yeah. We're still waiting on the info. Yeah, I don't know. Well, so. it, it is. it is weird that she never had a lot of comics. She only had really A-listers, and then, like, she would select, like, people that wrote Somebody write a letter, right? It's like my. Well, maybe if the comic would, had one eye and was dying of rectal cancer, yeah, she'd be, have them. She might have. Right. Come it tell was always something like that. She'd go. She'd go. Hey, we just got a letter. Yeah, like this. This, this comedian has right. one eye and rectal cancer, and we're gonna give him a bike. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that kind he's of. Got, and he can. He can. They'd show up to his house, yeah. and he'd be like, his ass would be bleeding. She would be like, give I have a tricycle stuff. outside. <laughs> we're here for you, and he'd be like, Thank you, come on. A comment when I try to call, you know, something like that. But he never, she never had someone she on. She liked people that were on their way out. Yeah, Ellen. of course, she because there was no competition all, uh, yeah. for her. She liked people that were dying. Right. Only they all yeah. like people who's d- gonna die yeah. because it's less competition. Yeah, they go bring somebody out on stage four. Right. <laughs> they don't even want a stage two. They go bring somebody on stage four. It's never someone who's gonna be okay. No, let's give them something and let's get them out of here. Yeah. Let's let's win. Yeah. Let's get some g- good uh, good vibes from yeah. the audience. My dream is to meet <laughs> Oprah. Oh, <laughs> uh, we want to have you on. Uh, we we heard that uh, your dying wish is to meet me. <laughs> yeah. I to meet you, Oprah. I'm not. <coughs> I'm not feeling. <coughs> well, we, we love you, and you're gonna you have a peaceful uh, time in heaven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met Oprah? No, I would die if I met Oprah. Yeah. I really, she's one of those people I would, I don't even think she's real. I think she's, she's just a wax figure. She's I don't, one of the few people that they still retain that aura of like crazy celebrity. Yeah. Where you're like, God. I met Madonna and I, I freaked out. I saw Gail out. King at once in first class and it did nothing for me. That's Oprah's lover. <laughs> it is Oprah's lover, I it's know. It's clearly Oprah's lover. <laughs> 
A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And so it did I've not always recommend. thought that. Of course. Yeah. Of I, course. I, I also think, I think Stedman and Charles Barkley are together. Yeah. Is Stedman I, uh, real? This guy that's. No, I think he's just a tree. I don't know. Well, it was just funny. It was like back then, everybody, like Rosie O'Donnell had a fake relationship with Tom Cruise. Like everybody <laughs> just had to kind of yeah, just she's play hot. along. Yeah. Right. And everybody had to kind of just, you know, be that. You I know. know. No, I, they're definitely, are they holding hands in that picture with Stedman in the back? No, it's just the angle. Oh. No, but they're lovers. Your your pointer thing was just on Oprah's nipple. That was hot. Yeah, they're lo- and Stedman does. Look at Stedman looking out. Yeah, he's like, why am I here? What did he's, I choose what a, my What life? a great job for a guy to get. Yeah, I mean, Be he's- The Oprah's fake husband? Yeah, fuzzman. I know. He just live in that big estate in Montecito? I mean, wow. I bet Oprah's the bottom. Oh, for sure. Well, she's so she's such a top in life. Yeah, exactly. She's I bet so Gail power- yeah. I get bet Gail beats her with self help books. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I think Gail <laughs> dangles like a French patient in front of her face <laughs> and then says, You're a dirty little whore, and then throws it out of the kitchen window. And then Oprah just gets all, you know. Oprah's now in Ozempic. I love that it all, like, it, it, Oprah's, by the way, had 50 <laughs> trainers, 45 chefs, every diet she brought in. She used to have this chef, Rosie, cooking with Rosie. This Then she had this other chef, and now she's like, let's just do it. Shoot up. I get it. Do Me it. Too. Do it. Why not? I Why mean, not? Listen. She said every chef, you can, every chef. Didn't yeah she didn't she put an axe in her mouth once I mean she's done everything yeah she's done everything that she can do <laughs> they've locked her throat up they've <laughs> they've tried they've locked the kitchen she, her house is so big in Montecito she has to drive to her kitchen and she still does it <laughs> she still gets in her car and drives to her kitchen changes lanes parks and goes to the refrigerator at two a.m. she cemented her mouth shut once yeah and she, she had, <laughs> none of it helps. <laughs> None of it helps. She hired Caitlyn Jenner to sit by the refrigerator with a gun. Nothing will do it. She once covered her mouth with Caitlyn Jenner's penis, yeah. and it <laughs> still didn't. But, I mean, that shows you it's like, I mean, look at that house. Get her house up for a minute. I mean, that is oh like a fairy tale God. Disney palace over that there in Montecito. That is insane. That is insane. And she just walks the halls. She doesn't though. Yeah, she I doesn't. mean, she you, <laughs> she before Ozempic, she yeah. didn't even walk to the bathroom. But here's the thing: so what? Her school? She had owned a bunch of schools, and then they got in trouble because the girls were being trafficked or something. She just had some bad press. What happened? I don't know. I heard there were a lot of flies. Shortly there. after the old girls' school opened in 2007, a school matron, Virginia Tiny Macapo, was charged with sexually molesting several girls. Tiny? That's not great. <laughs> At I the love same that time, tiny Winfrey flew to South Africa to offer prayer. Yeah, but then something else Was it a little person happened. that sexually molested? It was I'm a- going to fuck you. <laughs> I was a little tiny person. Follow the little pussy. Follow the little... All right, wait, wait, what, wait a second. Was that what happened? Oprah Winfrey, Girls Academy in the spotlight over claims of abuse of oh my. power. I don't know what I don't remember this... this. She has all these schools in, like, Africa, and then I think at these schools they were having lots of problems. Well, her spiritual advisor also, when you get too rich, you get, like, a guru. You get a spiritual advisor. It, right. It's way out of control. And I think her spiritual advisor went down for, like, being, like, all spiritual advisors, by the way, uh, like a serial rapist. <laughs> You know what I mean? This is just what happened. I it's love like, that you just said all spiritual. Many of them no, have you're that. Right. Many of them have that yeah. problem. My all ra- of these cults, it's the same. Yeah. yeah. Oprah's spiritual healer sends to 99 years oh in prison for God. rape and trafficking. Yeah, but look how hot he is. He calls himself John of God. Yeah, I mean, I think you... you, you is you, that my stepfather, Hal? <laughs> You get so rich. Like, Oprah's gotten so rich. She's like, I just got to keep looking for the meaning of it. One thing that shocks me is how easily taken in rich people are by grifters. Did you just read what it said? I totally agree with you, but I'm sorry. Girls were forced to have babies to sell. Oh. He allegedly operated in Brazil running farms of young girls who were forced to have babies to sell. 
Victims are often reported missing or murdered after <gasps> 10 years of giving birth per multiple outlets. Oh, my. This is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. I was, and this is Oprah's um, spiritual advisor. She endorsed him a decade ago. This is But she said she hopes justice horrific. is served. Isn't it funny? She hopes. Justice is served. She it's hopes. Like, can, <laughs> She's not going to do anything about it, yeah. but she really hopes it's taken you care of. You think she'd go like, hey, I was wrong on that one. Hey, no, guys. she can't take responsibility. John, I got, like those 18 diets I recommended, I was wrong. <laughs> My spiritual advisor turned out to be a human trafficker, and all the chefs I brought on that made me thin, none of them worked either. Because they all know how to make pancakes. <laughs> you know, she would move them into the house. Like, literally, they would put, they would have these. My grandmother was, like, the biggest Oprah fan every day at 4 p.m. Really? She watched Oprah. Like, every Long Island woman ever. Yeah. And then, like, Oprah would, like, be with, she'd bring in these chefs, and she's like, this is the chef. And it was, like, Chef Rosie or Chef whoever. Yeah. And then, you know, eventually, they'd, she'd, they'd put out a cookbook. They'd become millionaires. Right. Multi-millionaires. Multi-millionaires. And then Oprah, like, I guess, then they would just get axed. I don't know what happened. I guess Oprah was just well, like, she I'm wouldn't sick lose of weight. This. She wouldn't lose Maybe weight. Maybe she ate them. And then she wanted they she just wanted more food. <laughs> She's like, I want candy. Get the fuck out. Did you ever read that Bethany Frankel book? You know, the housewife from New York. I texted with her the other day. I'd never really spoken to her. Um, she's friends with Whitney Cummings. She's a sweet woman. But her book is like naturally thin. And you read the book and it's like, just don't eat. Like, that's the whole book. I'm sorry. Listen. It's just so funny. That's she, not okay. No, I know. She's like. If you're, I'm a food addict. I'm right. an addict. We've right. You and I talked about of this course. a million times. I'm in recovery. I'm a food addict. Right. I can't have one piece of bread. Right. I fuck my face with bread. I We've know, talked like, about this before. Like some of. Uh, don't eat. Okay. Don't do crack. Yeah, don't Beth, do Bethany's, Coke. Bethany's, she'll be like, eat the rainbow. That's one of her rules. She's like, eat the How rainbow. How do you eat a rainbow? I want to find out because I love <laughs> Skittles. What does She's that like, mean? Don't eat. Eat the them. rainbow. Eat different colored food. She's like, then she has one where she goes, what? taste everything, eat nothing. And it's like, okay. Okay. I, sorry, <laughs> but you know what? Can I do the show with her? Yeah. This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my whole life. What? Well, it, it's, Has it's, she ever heard of addicts of addiction? No, I think that I guess it's advice for people that don't have any of those issues. Okay, does she say that? She needs to she say might that. Say it, but if she, she might says not. it, then I have no problem with it. If this she like doesn't advice, say it, it's not okay. Housewives that are bored. But if okay, that's right, fine. Perhaps. But if she needs to say that, because if it's for all women, then it's very it's offensive. Listen, listen, to ready. It's all a misconception. Being naturally thin isn't some state of being beyond your grasp. You are naturally thin. No. You just have to make a few simple changes to Everyone's let your natural Everyone's naturally thinness. thin? Yeah, that's not. That's yeah. not true. It's genetic. Yeah, she, it's, not, it's not true. She goes, I found the secrets. I got naturally thin for life, and I want to share those secrets with you. <laughs> I, 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 okay. I, I. My this, mother had all the diets. My mother had everything. Every diet known to man. You're not naturally thin. It's yeah. uh, it's all a, a lot of it some is what you are. come from. No, no, I'm saying I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I should not have said people, that. Uh, some people are. are born and they're going to be thin. Yes, I. But it's should, I a lot should. of it's genetic. Yes, a lot of it is genetic. A lot. Um, and some people don't have to worry about it. They they don't have the issue. They don't have sure. It. But a lot of people do have to think about and it. And the poison in the food system in America a hundred percent is terrible. It's horrific. It's not good. Horrific. And in other countries, like the one I'm in right now, while people are watching this, they are not allowed to put plastic in ranch dressing or like, they're not even allowed to really have ranch dressing, but like they're not allowed to have the level of poison that we have in the food. We allow it. Yeah. We allow corporations to do anything they want. And if they want to pollute, Food that children eat, they're allowed to do it. In other countries, they say no. But we have in other countries, they don't have like straws. cookie ice cream sandwich breakfast cereal. <laughs> you know, know what I mean? Like I, other countries will not have like waffle bacon bomb breakfast cereal. <laughs> they're not allowed. It's Franken food. We have Franken food. <laughs> Our food doesn't even make sense anymore. <laughs> it's like confusing. Like. There was a, a dish at Denny's. It was salted caramel, bananas, foster pancakes. Steak. It, steak, right. <laughs> Chicken fried steak. It doesn't even sound what good, half that? of it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it's so Franken food. It's all weird. Yeah, peanut butter, lamb chop. Yeah, it's Frank. too many... <laughs> 
too many things that are going on at once. I know, because people are out of control. And I understand if you're okay right now in this world, there's something wrong. You're a killer. Well, that's there's true. something you're wrong a with you. Full on sociopath. <laughs> yeah. You really are. But you know what? Just listen to Bethany. Just don't eat. <laughs> well, taste the rainbow. Eat the rainbow. What what okay. I'm eating, sure it works for some people. Of course it does, because they don't have a food issue. Right. And they can just do that. Just like someone can have one drink or a sip of a uh, I okay. That would be like if you if, yes, if you wrote a book about alcoholism, it's and you the said same thing. Just try a bunch of different wines. I don't eat bread. I haven't had bread orally in three years. Right. I have a Kaiser roll in my asshole, but right. I haven't had <laughs> bread orally in three years. I don't eat pasta. I don't eat cookies. I don't eat. I can't. Right. I can't have one cookie. I will eat eight hundred and forty six right. of them it's in addiction. a week. Of course it is. Yeah, for sure. And that's how I lost a ton of weight. I'm addicted right. to food. Yeah. But some people are not. Are not. They don't have to worry about Caitlyn it. Caitlyn Jenner's not. No, she's addicted to being homophobic. She might be the only healthy person in this country. Caitlyn no. Jenner. No, I think there's some other ones too. <laughs> I think there's a lot. She's she's so. Who would you freak out to meet? I'm dying to ask you this. Like, oh, what celebrity? Like, who's the? If there's one or two or three, Woody like, Allen. Who would you? Let me tell you yeah. why. But let me tell you why. Because he's also a child molester. But I want to know if he's guilty or not. I want to look in his eyes and go, "Is it? Is it a problem? Did you do it?" I think the extra, uh, the added thing of like, yes, I grew up watching all of his movies, and I think he's brilliant. But also that added thing of meeting him and just trying to make a judgment, like, mm -hmm. can do you right? What right? Right? If I looked in there, would I see anything? But I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I wouldn't know. <clears throat> he's also one of those Oprah-like figures to me, where like, he's only going to be on Earth for a little while longer. He's kind of a staple in New York, the city that I love and I grew up in. Like, well, he's around a lot of kids, which you makes think you he, young. Do you think he did it? Yes. Yeah, it's not, I know. But I understand when people do, like, I don't judge people for their opinions. Like, some people don't, No, I, I understand I, that. I was with him to, like, episode three or four in that documentary, and then that was the rough one. Yeah. There was one episode where I went, oh, no! Yeah. It's like, fuck! Yeah. Everyone was like, but you gotta see episode four or something. And then I'm like, okay. Yeah. And then I watched it, and I was like, damn it, because you don't want it to be true, obviously. Right. Yeah. Did you, who else? Anyone else? That I would freak out to me? Yeah. O.J. Simpson. Because not only, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I'm like, oh, O.J., oh uh, who would I freak out to meet? Who would I be, I, that it would be really cool for me to meet? Um, I think it would be really cool to meet, like, a David Letterman, because yeah. I watched him every night when I could, when I was younger. I never liked him. Interesting. Never. Yeah. I would always just have him on. I think he's brilliant. I think he's really smart. Yeah. But I think he. I think there's two different kinds of comics, comic figures who are takers and givers. And I've always thought he's a taker. Interesting. Yeah. I've never. I never had any. You're a giver. I've always of, laughed at you because yeah. of that. I've never had any knowledge of of him other than he was this guy that was a brilliant guy that I watched. He is brilliant. I don't know. I, uh, Seinfeld would be interesting to me because I'm. I fear you him. You never met him. I've never met him. Are I'm you kind of serious? Afraid of him. In New York, you his never wife's met a him? fan. His wife likes what I do on Instagram. Yeah, she seems. I've great. never. I've lived in L.A. for five years. <laughs> oh right. And then I'm on the I road know. a lot. I'm like L.A. and then on the road. And then I'm here occasionally. I'm here in the summers and stuff. Right. I might see them this summer. He'd be cool because again, these are people that you grow up watching. Yeah. And they take on, you know, David Spade in L.A. That I hang out with Spade. We'll have dinner. He's amazing because I grew up right. watching Spade. Yeah. It's weird when you start hanging out with someone that you were a fan of. That's it's quite, really it's crazy. weird. That's really, really weird. It's wild. Yeah. And when you're with someone who's a huge celebrity and you're like, they are so normal that and people freak out over them. Yeah. Or you meet people and immediately you're like, oh, like that would have been great to not. <laughs> of course. You know? I wish I didn't know that. There's a lot yeah. of there's a lot because to me I'm like, eh. A lot of people that I'm fans of, I don't need to meet. A lot of great actors, I just, they're great, and I could leave them. Yeah, I know. As actors, and they don't, you know? Yeah, I know. It's not. I feel like the people who are, not always, but for the most part, the most famous are the easier for me to be around. Sure. It's like the people who are Because they're less, not, like, hungry and trying. I, yeah. It's not. Yeah. You know? People that are kind of. You know, we were in Nobu the other day. Taylor Swift was there. DiCaprio was there. Travis wow. Kelsey, Robert De Niro, who I know you know. They were all there, and they were all just, you know. And then people freak out over them. But, like, by the way, I think that's happening less and less. 
I think so I, too. I it's think, not like it was. It's not like it was. I think it's dying down. I think ultimately the future is, you know, it is that Andy Warhol quote, everyone will be famous for 15 minutes. Yeah. Now I have to ask you about yeah, Travis and um yeah. and uh the fuck is her name? Well, who is her name? Um oh my god, I'm forgetting the most famous singer in the um Taylor. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. Yeah. I think he's hot. And I don't even, I'm not in, I mean, obviously, yeah. I'm not with men. Is he hot? He's a good looking guy for sure. I mean, he seems he's, gorgeous. He's a good I mean, looking she's guy. beautiful, but like. They're very pretty people. Yeah. They seem happy. They seem, you know, I'm not a huge fan. I, I don't, I don't, I think she's very talented, but it's not, I've never been like a. I've never been like head over heels. Oh, me too, because she's too. It's so, I know yes, it's too we, positive. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, all I good. I need to be like I'm dying in the corner, slit in my wrist. Yeah, that's you know why I mean? the '90s were awesome, man. Yeah, weren't the '90s great? Amazing. Every song was like I killed you, you killed me. <laughs> we killed each other in the kitchen. Every song in the 90s was like- I stabbed my mother. I stabbed my father. <laughs> yes. My kids are dying and I never felt better. <laughs> that was why the 90s yeah. were great. Burn me alive in the kitchen. Burn me alive <laughs> yeah. in the temple of hell. That's what I want. I want those bitches back. Those You're right. fucking- Fiona Apples and Tracy Bottoms and Alanis Morissette. I, I, I was just going to say DeFranco Alanis Morissette. And people that were just like- I drank a beer and crashed my, crashed my car into a wall. Yeah. You looked at me with eyes of hatred <laughs> in the morning. My daddy, you died with the gun to your head. Yeah. And now every song is like, we were sitting on your porch <laughs> and we were drinking that tea that your mother made. We were sitting in my old car. I miss that car. Everything's nostalgia. <laughs> I miss that car. Everything's nostalgia. Everyone is so broken. The, all these, yeah, and, the whole Eras tour is a bunch of broken people <laughs> that want to relive summer camp at Camp Onondaga when they first heard this crap. <laughs> I just can't. I just want, like, I was alone when I was born, and I'll be alone when I die. When I die. I mean, please kill me, please, my baby, kill me, stab me in the throat. <laughs> now it's like, my mother, the bond that we have is so simple, simple like the honey in the tree. Well, it's like, it's also like very like, I get it because it's like the 80s are back because we went too crazy. Yeah, but it's too positive. Everyone wants to die po- now. Yeah, it's know, not it's real. Too po- <laughs> it's too positive. It is very like... Can you imagine singing like that about basic. horrible things? Here's what I... There's yeah. war in the Middle East. We're all gonna die. I think now, and I've, I've discussed this with people, my theory is that this is the revenge of the basic right now. <laughs> right. Like the basic bitch... And it's not a gender thing. I know a lot of guys that are basic bitches too. So yeah. don't give me that. What do you mean by that? Meaning it's the live, laugh, love, Ugg boot wearing, oh, kind of Nashville. Burn it all down. Burn, like, it's it's like real. very basic, kind of heavily sedated, somewhat medicated, mm-hmm. which is fine. But like, you know what I mean? It's like very basic like w- like kind of white women energy like offended at everything but not really and then also like uh, very basic there it is there it is <laughs> Starbucks yeah yeah it's like Starbucks it's like it's the TikToks too yeah it's just very basic I, I think that people like that now are as- ascendant yeah and the culture is reflecting that because we went through this traumatic <laughs> nightmare hell of yeah. COVID right yeah where it, 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 we understand coming through that people, the basic has ba- is back in it a has big to way. Because everyone's traumatized. Every podcast now is like two girls and it's called Avocados in My Cunt. <laughs> and it's about dating. That's hot, by the way. And they're I like, have an and there's avocado something in wrong mind. with it, yeah. but it's just like it's two women who discuss <laughs> dating for 30, 36 hours a week. And they're like, oh, my God. I just tell them, like, if they don't call me back, I'm like, don't try me again. Because, like, I'm not going to be ghosted. You know what I mean? It's it's really a Right, right. It's that. It's that. It's like, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, 
It's like, welcome to bathroom talk. I'm Sarah and this is Shauna. <laughs> And we're here. We have 1,500 hours of content on our Patreon if you want to subscribe where we discuss what it's like to get fisted and then have to meet the guy's parents an hour later. And it's like, I can tell he's smelling his fist every time at the rest. I'm like so uncomfortable. Fisted! We're going on a live tour. It's called Bathroom Talk Live. Get those vapes and those cigarettes. Prop open the window. We're ditching biology. And they're billionaires, by the way. Billionaires. They're women, selling out they're arenas. Billionaires. They're billionaires. But it's the revenge of the basic. And God bless them and God love them. We love them. We love them. We love them. Yep. And it's just a revenge of the As somebody who looks at culture and finds it interesting, it's the kind of the basic thing has returned. You know what's nice though? They like ass play. Yes. Yeah. Of course. That's no, the I mean, one it's, positive it, thing about it. It's a great thing that the ass is opened up. Yeah, it's very open and it's um, it's accessible. I love Mac Weldon underwear, and everybody that I know that wears it loves it too. It's breathable underwear that keeps you cool, dry, and comfy all day. Crazy comfortable. Elevated sweatpants and upgraded classic polo with antimicrobial silver threads. An ultra soft antimicrobial tee for when you need to stay fresh longer. I mean, these look like regular clothes, but they really are the latest in modern comfort. They're the go-to choice for guys who want to look great without even trying. They're not flashy. It's just classic style. They're always there, always in style. They're made from the world's most comfortable performance materials. Some guys want to look good without calling attention to themselves. They want to let their personalities do the talking. Mack Weldon Apparel gives you understated good looks for understated confidence. The fit of Mack Weldon style is amazing. You feel great when you wear them. You get a confidence boost knowing you're looking the best without even trying. The materials are great. They keep you comfortable and dry. Uh, they don't bunch up. You don't look uh, like, you know, you just uh, got off a 36-hour flight. Get timeless looks with modern comfort from Mack Weldon. Go to MacWeldon.com. They're offering 20% off your first order with promo code TIM. It's very generous of them. If you go to MacWeldon.com, it's a great way to get some great clothing and underwear and support the show. That is M-A-C-K-W-E-L-D-O-N.com. Promo code TIM. You're going to get 20% off your first order. Go try this right now if you haven't. We love it. We've got all these clothes here at the show, and everybody uh, has been raving about them. So go and do this. Bluetooth is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra, Cialis, and Levitra, but in chewable tablets at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be re ready whenever an opportunity arises. The process is simple. Sign up at Bluetooth.com. Consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. No visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Blue Chew's tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. Everybody I know that uses Blue Chew, I mean, it is the best. Everybody loves it. Um, I use it when I drive. Forget sex. It's fun to have an erection while you drive. They always say there's nothing sexier than confidence, and Bluetooth can help give you confidence where it counts. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Bluetooth free when you use our promo code TIM at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's Bluetooth.com, promo code TIM, to receive your first month free. Bluetooth.com, for more details and important safety information, we thank Bluetooth for sponsoring the podcast. Do you like the burbs? You live in the burbs. Speaking of ass, do you yeah. like the burbs? Do you like the suburbs? I do I, I do. I like the greenery. I like the lawns. The you know. I if like you didn't space. have the kiddos, would you move in the city or no? I, uh, at this point, yes, okay. because I miss being in the city, and I miss most of my friends live in the city, and yeah. it's just more comfortable for me. But. Yeah. I would never, you know, I can't right. leave where my of kids course, are. Of course. I mean, course. eventually, yes, but like, you Do know. Do you like L.A.? You hate it. I don't hate L.A. at all. I love going. I, I'd only, 
Uh, I'd live there to like film something for right. six months, but I couldn't live there full time. Why? Now, why does everyone say that? Well, because I am such a New Yorker. I grew up in New Jersey. I know. It's in my blood. I'm not a Long Islander. I live there, but I'm really See, Jersey. Long Islanders can transition to L.A. I know. I'm not it's a Long Islander. I live there, but I'm not a Long Islander. Because Long Islanders, for whatever reason, can do it. Because it's, it. it's the burbs. I love Jersey. We love the I, burbs, yeah. and LA's just the burbs, so I you know. can do it. I mean, and I, people suck there, but people suck where I'm from. Right. They it's do. a lot of shitty people. I know people. where you're from. You know where yeah, I'm from. I know it very well. I and live it's, around it's there. It's very similar to LA people. Yeah. It like is. those Jappy girls and Jappy guys, and just all of us that tried to be Jappy, but we were Catholics and didn't have money. All of that yeah. is in LA. They're just Persian. I know. So it's it, the it's same. And then people similar. who want to be per it's the same thing. Right. I mean, I love the weather in LA is absolutely perfect. It can be, I, yeah. Yeah. I just I love it there and I have a ton of friends there. Yeah. But I also would buy a big house in the in the Berkshires or something in the mountains. Like that's also me. Sure. So well that's such I, a lesbian move. No, it's not a le I'm not that kind of lesbian. Gay men like beaches and deserts. Lesbians do like farms and mountains. But am I'm I not, wrong I'm not am I a farm lesbian? No, Tim? I'm not saying that. I mean I wouldn't even know what the I don't even know what Every hay is. time we go to Whitney Cummings' house, all she does is promise there's gonna be mega celebrities and it's always just Melissa Etheridge. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. But it's always just Melissa Etheridge. I, I know. And, and horrible food. Really? Whitney always brings in some woman chef who's wearing wearing like horse leather and <laughs> and has a big Instagram presence and then like makes the worst food ever. And I'm just I go and eat Melissa Etheridge's pussy just so I can <laughs> satiate myself. That's how bad it is. No, it's never good. Whitney's never good. But Whitney has a gorgeous house. A I'm fucking sure. amazing house. But she never kills it with the food. Yeah, no, I'm not that. She doesn't eat. I'm not that kind of they lesbian eat through and at eat all. all. These people <laughs> at a certain price point in LA, certain income bracket, you do the needle. I get it. Yeah, but I'm not that kind of lesbian at all. Where I would want it, but I like it as like the second home kind of. Yeah, you know, you go on the weekends. That kind. I of. always see you in like a an inner ring suburb, like a suburb yeah. that's like close to the city. You get in, do what you want. That's my thing. I I live. grew up in New Jersey and South Orange. It's, it's kind of nice. Yeah, it is kind of nice to get out. It is. I just like space. I don't right. like feeling confined. But the only way I would live in the city again, and this might sound gross, but I'm sorry, it's the truth. I'm not going to lie, is to have a big apartment. I can't right. live in a tiny, I've done it. I did it for years and I'm older now. Yeah. I can't live in a fucking tiny little apartment. I, I just can't. No, I know. And I was very fat when I did. So I yeah. would get stuck in the apartment and sometimes, I'd, but I have to scissor my way out. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was There's really, nothing wrong with that. You know, it was, I was, I lived in, I was enormous and I would live in, seriously, just a room with yeah, like, that's New you know, York. it was crazy. It's tough because everything is so expensive now. It's so fucking crazy and it doesn't bear any resemblance to reality. Yeah. You're like, how in God's name are people paying for any of it? And then I you realize know. they're not. It's a lot of laundered money, yeah. foreign money. Oligarchs, it's billionaires. All, right. You told all me about LA money. too, didn't you? It's all LA no. too. It's all the same thing. You look at you look at the price of everything and it goes way too much money for and then you look at incomes. You're like, who's making this money? I know. Who is making the money? Who can buy a fourteen million dollar second home it's in Malibu? It's a beach house. No one lives there year round. Fourteen million second home? Yeah. And then you start looking at all these rich people. You go, oh, they own every. It's like a tiny frack, a small section of people own everything. Yeah, I've done fine, and I own things too. People are gonna yell at me now. They go, you own a few things. And You've worked your ass off. I've worked my ass off, but it's like I, nothing I have is as nice as is what I would want, and that's the real tragedy. Truly. No, I mean, it's truly most it, of us want truly. more. Yeah. And I, I, you know, you also like you don't still have a place in Austin, do you? I do. I rented it out to a man who screams. I hired uh, a woman who's uh, a, a person. She takes care of my properties. <laughs> Is that the woman in Florida? No, it's a woman you know. You actually know this woman. I'm not going to say her name on the podcast, but I think I know who it is. You know who it is. Yeah. She's very good and she's responsible. She's really good. Amazing. At that stuff. But yeah. he's torturing her every day. Oh, no. He calls her every day and he goes, uh, I don't understand. Are you guys going to, like, do the, uh, are you going to renovate the. Oh, get rid of him. Yeah. He goes, are you going to renovate the uh, the playhouse back, out back? And he goes, that's a dog kennel. It's not a playhouse. <laughs> I bought it from someone. They had a Rottweiler. He lived in, the, in that. 
and well, it's not a playhouse. Is this kid playing in it? This kid's like a baby. So I'm like, if you want to do that, if you want to make that a playhouse, you 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 can do that. God bless. But I'm not going to make it a play. Like this is absurd. Oh, that's crazy. So we, it's a crazy tenant who's making her life a living hell. And then she calls me. I mean, we pay her, obviously, but I feel bad because she calls me. Well, why can't you get rid of him if it's, if he's that? Well, he's got a lease. Oh, okay. And he's paying. I know. He's probably, So yeah. you can complain. You just got to pay. I mean, the things he wants are just not realistic. Right. How long does he have a lease for? Two years. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. Two years. But I sold my house in L.A. Just sold. You we just did? closed. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's a beautiful home. But it was, you know, there's a lot of geological issues where I was in Laurel Canyon. That's where my stepbrother lives. A mudslide took out Mulholland Drive. There's a lot of geogra... There's issues. Mm -hmm. There's issues there. There's no issues in Hamptons. None. None. Zero. Yeah. Zero. Hamptons okay. is great. And there's your other, house is beautiful there. Th yeah, there's other parts of the country that are, there are no issues. There's other parts of L.A. If I get a house again in L.A. down the road, it'll be by the beach or in, 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 the, in a flat section. I mean, look at the mudslide. That's down the block from my house. Really? Yeah. That took out the road. Wow. They just put the road back. The winter's in it. Look at that. That's down the block. The winters in L.A. are getting so fucking crazy that we're having this in Laurel Canyon's the worst place to live. It's all mud hills. It's not like mountains. It's like mud hills. Yeah, Zach lives right where. What? Should, where? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Yeah, anyway. I was. I was up, but I'm done now. So you can go yeah. kill the people that live there now. You ain't gonna kill me. I'm not gonna be there. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. I'm gone. If you're trying to kill me, you, you know, it's not gonna happen there. I'm out of there. So when you dump. go, you just stay at a hotel. Beverly right Hills now. Hotel. Yeah, love it. It's the best. What and then eventually, I'll get something. I'll get something down the road. But I want to be flat. I want to be on flat land. I would not. I honestly, I, don't want, I, I listen, hate driving great, up there. But I, I don't like, yeah, I want out. I get nauseous every time I drive up there. I want to live like a Persian in the Beverly Hills flats. I want the, uh, white couches and like crystal chandeliers. And I want to wear a burqa and I want to convert to Islam. And I just I, want to be like that guy. I love wearing a burqa because then I can fuck my face under it and no one sees. No one, this is what I kind of want. I yeah. kind of want to. Who's that fat chick from uh, the uh, 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 selling uh, the Shaza Sunset? MJ, that fatty boom batty. Where's MJ from selling Sunset? That's Golnessa. Golnessa is uh, on Ozempic. She weighs eighteen pounds. Get the fatty MJ because that's who's what not I want on look Ozempic. Like. Everybody's on it right now. There, I, right there. We're gonna yeah. That that's the fat? story I'm gonna dress. She's chubs. But look, look to the that's right. That's chubby for LA. That's not chubby. Well, I understand. She has huge tits. This is what I want to dress like. And go to the left. <laughs> go to the like left. Like her? The second picture in. The second picture in. <laughs> up right there. Make that big. This is this is how I want to dress. Like her? That's exactly how I want to dress. That's how I want my hair to be. I want to have a long hair. I want you to come. I want to be trans. I'm not going to take off my dick, but this is what you're going to see. If when I, I get saw to LA, you like that's that, my perfect would... body in LA. That's it. If I saw you like that, I would laugh so hard I would throw up. I know. That's what I want. That's the goal. I'm not a canyon person. I want to be by the beach or I want to be like in the in the suburbs and like Beverly Hills. I don't like this canyon life. I don't like where people from L.A. pretend to be cowboys. I understand. Look at the picture with the gold, her boobs. Can you please Look how big the that? boobies are. Oh, Who is my this? God. What is that? She's something else. Is that I, a trophy? I don't know who that is. She's got some real... I have never seen anything like I mean, that. She's serious. God bless her. All that right. looks like the platter my grandmother left me when she died. <laughs> I've never seen boobs like. I mean, they're just very condensed and like thick. I'm so horny. I love it so much. I love the. Uh, Do you like boobs? I don't mind them. Yeah. I mean, they're kind of like a food. <laughs> Morgan & Morgan is America's largest personal injury law firm. And it's 2024. It's time to talk about something important. If you were injured by the negligence of another, you deserve to be paid. Life can be crazy sometimes, and one person's negligence can result in another settlement. If you're in an accident, not calling a lawyer means you could be leaving money on the table. When you're seriously hurt, but your injury could be worth millions, if you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Okay? They are the biggest. They've got 100 offices nationwide and more than 1,000 lawyers. With over $20 billion recovered from 500,000 clients, Morgan & Morgan has a proven track record of fighting to 
get you full and fair compensation. Submitting an injury claim with Morgan & Morgan is so easy. This is true. I know a lot of people have used them. They're always very happy. They do not get paid unless you collect. If you're ever injured, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. Their fee is free unless they win. For more information, go to 4 thepeopletcom slash Tim or dial pound law, pound 529 from your cell phone. That's F-O-R, the people.com slash Tim, T-I-M, or pound law, pound 529 from your cell. This is a paid advertisement. <laughs> Listen to this. Bentley CEO sa <laughs> says low sales are from emotionally sensitive clients not wanting to show off nice cars in recession. I don't believe that. I don't either. I don't believe that. That sounds like a real interesting way to like I don't think justify anyone cares. the soft numbers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now they care? Now, they're, they're upset. Maybe they think they're going to be stolen. Maybe they think the cars are going to be stolen. But this idea that like people are sensitive about driving a nice car during the recession doesn't make any sense. First of all, there's always a recession. When has there not been a recession? There's, there's been always, a recession my whole life. There's always poor people. But I've never, there's never been a time there hasn't been a recession since right. I was born. Yeah, there's always something happening. Yeah, and, and do you think anyone gives a fuck what people think about what car they're driving? No, no, they don't. They, these people... Do you think a rich person's like, I'm going to get a Camry so no one feels uncomfortable? No, no one feels that way. Wasps do it out in the Hamptons. They drive beaters because they're like gazillion, they're billionaires. But, like, regular rich people, absolutely not. Absolutely not they don't care. But it's just funny. There's some guy at Bentley who's like, we got to give somebody we got to give somebody a justification for why people aren't. I think it's a lot of it's crime. People are worried about, like, their I car agree with you. Totally. being fucked with. Yep. That's what they're worried about. You're totally right. And I just think people aren't into them that much anymore. Yeah, and people aren't into maybe nicer cars. Right. But I think, really, they're not just not as popular. That's maybe what it is. Yeah, I really do. I'd rather, Even though our customers can still afford our cars, there was a level of emotional sensitivity that slowed down demand. Complete lie. Yeah, people are just too angry at their parents, so they're not buying. Well, they're still, by the way, I see a ton of, I have a Bentley, and I see tons of Bentleys in Miami and Beverly Hills and the North Shore of Long Island. There's Bentleys. I see them, nice. I see them all the there. time on Long Island. But a lot of people have electric cars because gas is fucking stupid. I was thinking that when you so brought up So every time I fill up in LA, I go, this is kind of dumb to have. Mm-hmm. This is kind of stupid. Have you ever had an electric car? No. Yeah. I don't like them. I don't either. I, they don't feel good inside. I feel like- Teachers I'm, drive I'm, them. I know. Yeah. And I hate teachers. I, um, I feel like I'm on the ground when I'm in them. That's right. Yeah. It just doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel like you're being taken care of. I feel- I don't- In an electric car. Yeah. How do you- I think bunch, they're amazing. You, you're though. a mother. How are the children and the teachers and the, the college and the craziness? And how is it out there? Well, my the oldest is going to college, and yeah. I'm a little freaked out by the whole thing. It just seems so intense right now. Yeah. Just, it's like so. I don't know. It's like, what is happening? Can kids just go to college and have a great time? I had the time, the best time in my life was when I went to college. Yeah. I, went to of Maryland. I think she'll have a great time. No, she will because she's uh, that's who she is. I but. think she'll have a great time. But yeah, I think I think the pressures that are are di are different now mm -hmm. than they were. Yeah, I just want the, to be kids. Like just there used to be a pressure where it was like I got to figure out how to earn money and make a life for myself. Yeah. That pressure doesn't exist anymore because right. none of these kids think about that. But now there's a pressure where they're like. I got to I got to like live my dreams, know what my dreams are, live them, self-actualize, be mentally healthy, except my TikTok tells me I have 10 mental problems I may or may not have. I know. I got to make sure I'm being a good person, I got to have the right opinions, I got to be with the right people. It's hard. There's a lot of shit going on that I think pulls kids in a lot of different directions. I also think they know too much and they, they know way and, too much. and they're and they're seeing so much online and like yeah. when we when I sorry, I'll talk for myself. When I was growing up, I really literally had no idea what the fuck was going on in the world. Right. And it was better that way. Yes. Because I wasn't mature enough to understand really what was happening. I wasn't educated enough to know what was happening. And it, I I I I'm glad I didn't know a lot. It I is really too didn't much. It was it was way I knew there was like a war going on somewhere, but I, I didn't really understand it, and I, I, it would have affected me too much. I was too immature to and understand. And that was the war it. of eighteen twelve. So your, <laughs> your parents did communicate that to you that we were still trying to hold on to the country. We're, I mean, we're dating ourselves. I, I want you to know. 
I just want it back. By the way, was there a better decade? Jenko jeans, big jeans, coffee house with big fishbowl size mochaccinos. Oh, please. You slunk down in big purple chairs and you listen yeah. to an angry white woman scream about her trauma with yeah. a guitar. Just screaming and oh, banging. You. All you do is lie. All you do is lie to me. And they would all do that. They'd go, you, me. Yeah. Just, you don't even know who I am. Uh, why do you think I'm available when all I want to do is hurt myself? I killed myself four times last night. <laughs> for you, for you. There was no better time you would smoke a joint in Long Beach, Long Island, and you would sit in a coffee house, and you would I listen to some... So I'm sorry, I'm still on that. <laughs> I died last night, I died today, I'll die tomorrow cause I'm going to hell. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, I miss <laughs> that kind of angst, that kind of little dark, kind of, everybody, dark. everyone was, everyone you knew was kind my... of Wiccan. Every girl was kind of Wiccan. They had a healthy- Everyone was suicidal. Yeah, everyone was, was suicidal. Everyone had a healthy relationship with the dark arts. Yeah. It was like Harry Potter before Harry Potter. Oh, yeah. It was just a fun decade. Kurt Cobain, Friends, Frasier, Seinfeld, yep. diners that served good food. People didn't act like every job wasn't like, you know, you get on a train now in Long Island, you're-, you're you used to be able to go like you barely had a ticket. You're like, oh, I don't have a ticket. They're like, whatever. They didn't care. Now every job acts like they're an extension of the Department of Homeland Security. I know. I you know. You walk into a frozen yogurt place. You're like, uh, how can I help you? It's like hey. everyone is enraged. I've been doing yeah. a whole bit about that. I'm like, I didn't force you to get this fucking job. I know. Everyone's can mad. you not take this out on me? Everyone's mad. En enraged. I'm like, can I have whole milk? I I'll get it soon. Like, I'm, uh, mom. Right. Why are you talking to me yeah. like this? It just during the '90s, no one took anything seriously. You're right. Every Everybody was a slacker mm -hmm. and embraced kind of that Gen X who cares mentality. Now everybody is both at the same time incredibly committed and incredibly incompetent. Oh my god. Like they're they both are. they're very committed to this job that they don't <laughs> know how to do and are angry that they have. So it's very strange. They're like very official. <laughs> and also have no idea what's going on. <laughs> they're like, yeah. I'm the mayor of Starbucks, but they can't foam the milk. And they, right, yeah. they're incompetent, but they're like, uh, yeah, you yeah. need a code. Like, I go near the bathroom. <laughs> they're like, you need a code. I'm like, hey, I'm national security advisor. Relax. You get frisked to go into the it's bathroom. Insane. <laughs> and dude, in the 90s, like, people would just kind of, kind of not care what you did. Yeah. They didn't really Because everyone's care. filled with fear now. I'm That's serious. Right. It's true. They're seeing oh too much. Oh, my God. This all came down because oh. show that they confiscated the gavel now. <laughs> this is Morgan and Morgan, the fucking, the God damn it. What's happening They confiscated over there? this gavel. Morgan and Morgan is the America's largest personal injury law firm. <laughs> and they've done the right thing by sponsoring the show with this gavel that says size matters. Show the gentleman. No, show him enjoying himself as he confiscates the gavel. He's famous now. His friends will tell him. He confiscated the gavel, so all we have is this. Wait, he took your gavel away? He took the gavel because it, it, it's a weapon, and we're supposed That's to have ridiculous. it on the desk from Morgan & Morgan, America's largest personal injury law firm. Looks like Caitlyn Jenner's dick. Yes, it is. They also confiscated that. But it is, I just miss that kind of sensibility where people, every day wasn't the most important day of everyone's life. I hate to say it, and it might sound like I'm old, and I'm on TikTok, and, and all of it's 72 hours. I, I, I'm on yeah. it constant, all day and night. Yeah. I think it's amazing, and I laugh at it constantly, sure. but it's killing our society. It's yes. bad. Yeah, it's it's dead. Good. It's not even killing it. It's We're gone. Right. We're gone. What is it? Is it just the constant, because I'm not on it. I, so oh I don't have God. followers on it's it. Bad. I don't care about it. I'm I'm on it. I have a million followers. It's bad. I know. You're it's really it bad. On there. It's bad. I mean, I love my fans and I'm putting up clips, you know, crowd work because I put a, I did a special for who everyone's right. like, why are you put old she only does crowd? I'm like, because I'm not gonna put my fucking material up right. for you to see it and not, I'm not gonna make money. You're an right. idiot. Um but anyway, the point is is that 
everyone seeing too much. It's so depressing. It's yeah. like, yes, some of it's funny, but there, and and a lot of it is, you know, it's it's not real. They're not educated. They're they're seeing one side. They're seeing one side, and it's a lot of it's to get you um, angry. Go exactly. It's again, it's addicting. I I I get addicted to it. It's 100%. a lot of. It's very addictive. It's very addictive, but it is a weird. It's a weird thing to constantly be stimulated yes. by this app, by this algorithm that's job is to keep you engaged. Mm-hmm. And the only way to keep people engaged is to either entertain them or piss them off. And it's much harder to entertain people than it is than it is to piss them off. hundred So you Tim, can easily piss them off. Think about I mean Everything when we were growing up was conversations. It was talking to someone. That's Everything right. Everything is on the phone now. Everything. Right. Or Everything is like. Everything. Winky face. Literally, we covered this horrible story in Arizona um, that a kid was killed by these other kids at a party, and they all went on Snapchat and TikTok and talked about killing the kid. Are you kidding me? Um, I I've swear never, to God. I so they all, I didn't they hear all that. have They all have these, you know, I went down there and I- Met the family of the kid. It was pretty crazy. You did? Yeah. They, they're great people. But oh, my they killed God. This kid. But the, the thing is, these kids go on Snapchat and start talking about it. And all right, all right. Come on. They go on Snapchat and can you find the snap? Find the snap. And they literally write, I just killed a kid. I think I'm too strong. They literally, he wrote this. They're writing things That's on Snapchat. That's honestly one of the sickest things They're I've so, ever heard. Well, it's sociopath. You can see how we are creating a generation of sociopaths. That's what I mean. I have a whole bit online where nobody thinks the kids are the future. Everybody's just concerned with AI. We've given up on the kids. Politicians don't even talk about kids anymore. They used to. Every right. politician used to just talk about kids. No one does. Everyone talks about AI. If you even bring up kids, people go, who cares? What about the AI? Yeah, I Wait, hit a so- kid, and this kid hit his head, and then they kicked his head in, and then I got word he died. I don't know. Like, they're communicating on these apps. One of them wrote, I killed a kid. I'm, I guess I'm too strong. It's We're creating a generation of people on with this constant stuff. We're creating- There it is. Wait. There it is. Yeah, but there's a-, there's a I don't know if they have that, but they, that message is in the police report- where he goes, they all have these, and they're all obviously, they got warrants for all this information that came out of Snapchat and all this stuff. But it just shows you what's going on. These kids were randomly attacking kids and putting it on TikTok, Jessica. They were putting, they were randomly attacking kids and putting the beatings How old were up. they, 17? 16, 17. They're randomly attacking people, blitz-style attacks. Six or seven kids would attack a kid with brass knuckles, hospitalize him, oh film it, my God. and put it on TikTok. This is how crazy it is. So there are a lot of problems with the social media diet we're feeding these that's, kids. That's what I'm saying. And what, and what they're... Because when we grew up, people handled their anger somewhat differently. And even if they fought, it wasn't... They weren't so filming extreme, it. And they weren't trying to kill they someone. They weren't trying to Sorry. kill someone, and they weren't filming it and putting it on an app. Which is psychotic. It is. For it's clout. Really, I know. You know what it's I mean? Bad. It's real. I watch fights sometimes, and I'm like, why did I just watch? See, it, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's I crazy watch it, which because is it's very addictive. Self, right, and it's People bad. People in our generation would just go to a coffee house and go, I spent last night alone. <laughs> Did you hear me crying because I spent last night alone? You think you want him, but you really want me. I'll prove you right. Come to my home. I won't let her live if you don't come back. I live on a couch. I have a handshake <laughs> agreement for rent. My credit is shot. It's, it's, but that's the way people used to live. People used to live. Jessica Kirsten, you're one of the only people I enjoy having as a guest because you're funny. Well. You're an insanely funny human being and it's a joy to have you. Well, you're brilliant. Well, stop and it. hysterical. Even of course, the, continue. The songs you're, uh, I'm not jerking you off, Tim. No, please. All right, I will. I'm really, at this point, I, I just not working. It's just not working, my relationship. Anyway, so I love you. Not only are you brilliant, but you are, you're so fucking funny. I don't laugh. You know, I really don't laugh yeah. at a lot of comedians. I can't bear to watch most well, of I, them. Well, I appreciate that. 
but you're, you're so knowledgeable. Well, I really, that's you're sweet so of you. smart. You know, everyone says that that's a fan of yours when I'm on the road. Yeah. People are always like, I can't stop listening to him because he's so smart. Well, I, mean, I don't really- know if that's true, but that's very nice that they say that. I think what's more impressive now is sort of my commitment to social justice and kind of raise elevating issues and things like that. That's what I find impressive about myself currently. It's true. Sort of the, you know, what I've been doing and the kind of focusing on the local issues, trying to bring them to the top. Again, that was what, that would be my. Yeah, Surmise. but most comics are just like, it's. that's what I said about you being a giver, because most comics are like, I'm funny, I want more and more and more and more, and I think if you can make a difference. I give so much to people. I know, but My that's producer rare. will drive my Bentley back to the Hamptons and have that experience, because I can't do it, I have to get on a plane. Jessica Kirsten, tell yeah. people, but it's nice for him, it's a two hour drive, and I, you can stop and have lunch on the way. And you're young. And he's young. So to drive the Bentley to the Southampton, like, that's not nice. That's a nice thing to do for someone. That's amazing. Jessica, tell everyone where they can find you. You've got a million on TikTok. You just have all these followers. Everyone loves you. You're well, touring. Your people are buying tickets. They're enjoying it. Yeah. I'm. Uh, you can go to jessicacurson.com. K- do it. K-I-R-S-O-N. And I just filmed a Hulu special, which I think is coming out in December. And um, I have a TikTok, Jessica Curson. I'm on YouTube, um, Jessica Curson Comedy. I, yeah. I, I'm, like, my social media is amazing. I'm on Instagram, Facebook. I post videos every day of, you know, of my, my crowd work and my shit. Yeah. Listen, my... Thank you, and go and follow her. And and before we get out of here, TimDillonComedy.com for all my tickets. My new special, Amy Schumer presents Tim Dillon Live in Gaza. Oh. <laughs> We're selling tickets right now. Get on it. Good night.